What's good, Yellow Rose Gang? It's your girl, right? Back with another video. From the shot, go, go. Ride me, baby. Slow mo. Make a movie. Go pro. Head to the south. Go low. Yellow light. Go slow. Go slow. Yellow light. I've been writing all day. I can't really get no rest. I already clear half, thinking how we get the rest. Ooh, what's good, gang? Y'all already know what it is, and y'all already know what it do. Right back with another video for you guys today. And today I have for you a special mukbang, like I told you guys on my community tab. So today I bring to you Bougie Appetite, y'all. Bougie Appetite is a restaurant here in Des Moines, Iowa, ran by Asia Randolph. Um, so I today I got some catfish. As y'all can see here, it's all sit up or whatever. I'm gonna put a video for y'all so y'all can see the whole thing. Cause I feel like the thumbnails don't do it no justice. Huh? I got me a side of spaghetti here, some garlic bread, and as you guys can see, this is a big portion, which I love about her meals because it could feed more than one person, okay? So, she also puts them in cute little boxes, such as these, and there's her logo on there. Super cute. Oh, I'm so sad I can't see it, but super cute. Um. But, anywho, we're going to go ahead and dab into the food. I'll let you guys know how it tastes or whatnot. Um, if you're new, thank you for coming through. Please make sure you subscribe, like the video, comment down below, share it out. Give me lit. Gang, gang. We in this thing, y'all. We're going to go ahead and dab in so I can tell y'all how it is. Okay? Hi. If y'all seen my... um. My vlog, my most recent vlog, then y'all would know I've had her food a couple of times before. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go here. Oh, you look that spaghetti. Little spaghetti. Look at that. Yes, okay. I got me some butter sauce, hot sauce, and I think more butter sauce. And I got me an adult beverage here. I got some um, Amsterdam, some peach Amsterdam, some peach uh, crush. Bone apple tea, baby. Y'all can get the first bat. Let's see, let's see. Mmm. So much flavor already. Mmm. That's some good, good spaghetti. Mmm. Yes, hunt tea, okay. Mm. Bread good and salt. Look at y'all. I'm gonna take a bite of everything and let y'all know how to take. Mm. That's some good bread. You made that bread from scratch too, Asia girl. That's some good bread. Huh? Look at that. that golden brown fish, baby. I'm gonna have some. <laughs> mm. Fish fall apart in my. Mmm. Yes. One more bite. One more. One more. I'm gonna let y'all know. Mm. Yeah. That fish so good. Good. Nice and crispy. Hot. Flavorful. I could tell you put some lemon in that in that fish batter. I can tell it tastes really good. Go ahead and get some more of this fish, baby. 
with some of this little butter sauce you got for me. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. I like this sauce. It's just butter. It's just butter, y'all. Mmm. That's some good sauce. So y'all, on a scale of one to ten, baby, I'm giving this meal. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a nine point eight, baby, because you know it's always room for my improvement. But this meal is really good, nice and flavorful, and I'm finna bang. Well, today we're gonna do some never have I ever questions. I'm gonna go on here and get into it in a little bit. Once I get mm. a couple more bites, just the right amount of meat, just the right amount of sauce, just the right amount of seasoning. Fine. Hold on. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and get into this Never Have I Ever. And I just pulled something up online. I asked on my community to tell what y'all wanted me to talk about while I'm mukbangs. So if you guys can comment down below other things you would like for me to talk about during mukbangs or whatever, that would be awesome, okay? <clears throat> so let's get into this first question. It says, Never Have I Ever gotten a tattoo um i have i actually have three tattoos i have one here one on my hip and one on my finger i think y'all knew that already but i'm not sure that was question number one question two never have i ever stood someone up on a date boy um, no <laughs> with guys when i used to date guys i never really went on dates because i don't know what's with the generation or whatnot they don't really take girls on dates but when i did dates or took women on dates i was never um i never not showed up i always showed up <clears throat> but i did have somebody not show up to a meetup. I was so blue, like, first of all, you made me drive all the way over here and you not even here or you not even gonna answer your phone. I was so blue. At first I was like, you know what? I'm 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 done going to see people. I'm going <laughs> I'm like I'm done going to travel to see people. Mugs don't wanna show up. Out here trying to straight straight catfish. <laughs> Let's see what the next one is. Mmm. I guess you made this with that French bread. I'm going to put all her info down in my description box if you want to hit up Agent for some food. Um. <clears throat> Never have I ever gotten a speeding ticket. Um. I never got a speeding ticket, but I sure did get a ticket before. Not speeding. Running red light. I was too blue. And it was my birthday, y'all. I was blue. And the officer ain't even tell me happy birthday. Ain't that petty? Hey. Mm. I'm gonna eat this whole baguette. <laughs> All right. Never have I ever lied to get out of work. Who don't lie to get out of work? Like, like I'm sick. <laughs> not even sick, be somewhere that I'm not supposed to be or going to do something that I'm not supposed to be doing. <laughs> it be like that sometimes. Okay. Um... It says, never have I ever given a fake name. Um, I have, like, at a club or something. 
like when um somebody trying to talk to me or something and I don't want them to know my name. I gave a fake name before. I gave one fake name before. <laughs> Cause sometimes you just don't be wrong people to know your name. What you mean to know my name for? I don't even like you. I don't even feel the attraction to you in the beginning. So therefore, you ain't getting my real name. <laughs> and I'm giving people like nicknames too. Like not my real name, but my nickname. Question. Never have I ever dumped someone over a text. Mm, not that I know of. I think when I was younger, probably, but not recent years in my adult years. No. Nah. Hell no. Nah. That's childish to me because, like, why you can't tell that person face to face? Like, that's something that should be communicated face to face. Why would you text it? Are you scared? Are you afraid? Are you a coward? <laughs> Those are the only things right there. Like, if you're afraid, you scared, you coward. Period. Um. Never have I ever texted an ex out of nowhere. Hell to the no, for what? For what though? I'm not texting no ex. If I if I dated somebody, they've been an ex, 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 ex. Ain't no coming back. Period. <laughs> Ain't no coming back. Um. The next one is never have I ever done a new streak in public. No, I have not. But I was with a group of friends before, and they is skinny dipped in the pool. Shit, that's like streaking to me because I'm not finna get into nobody pool naked. I'm not finna run up and down nobody's street naked. None of that. <laughs> Cause why? Like, I guess it's fun in the moment, but damn. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm full already. This crazy. <clears throat> All right, let's see. I got napkins right here. All right, never have I ever been refused entry to a club. No, I've never been refused entry to a club. I don't think I've ever been to a... No, actually, actually, let me stop lying. Let me stop lying. Yes, I have. Bending that entry to the club when I was in Las Vegas last year. Y'all, I went to the club and they told me I couldn't get in because of the shoes I had on. Some of some those tennis shoes. How? They was, um, what kind of shoes was they? They was some, um, them Air Max shoes. Air Max. It was something. They looked nice. I thought they weren't. I didn't think they was gym shoes. I thought they was nice looking shoes. They was like, no, you can't go in there with that. So I turned around. I went back to the hotel because well, none of them, I just felt like one of them clubs gonna let me in there with them shoes. So, yeah. And I've been turned around on my birthday before. Um, when I was in Chicago, I tried to go to this bowling alley and drink and stuff, whatever, you know, bowl with my people. And they talking about some y'all can't come in here with y'all. Uh, we had Timberlands on our feet, and they like y'all can't come in here with Timberlands on. We like what? Like we can't come in with Timberlands on. We trying to bowl. We trying to drink. We trying to turn up. Like you tripping? Like a Timberland? We finna take them off to bowl in in the first place? Like, but anywho, <laughs> so we didn't get to go in there that day. We had to do something totally different from what I wanted to do. I was mad, but it's okay. I got over it. Uh, never have I ever used someone else's toothbrush. I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't even gonna start. I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't mean to. <laughs> I ain't mean to. 
Like, my girlfriend sometimes, like, I wake up in the morning, I use her too much. Well, I don't mean to use her too much. I did it once before, like, once. Like, once or twice, finally, at the most, twice. But I'm just saying, like, <laughs> I did it by mistake. But she changed her too much anyway. So, yeah, I guess it was just nasty on my end. But she, I'll be... <laughs> All right. Never have I ever had, um, never have I ever used someone else's. Oh, I regret it. Never have I ever peed in the shower. You know, I've seen somebody arguing about this before. It was on, um, The Circle, the TV, the TV show on, um, Netflix. And they was arguing about who pees in the shower and who don't. Who the fuck doesn't pee in the shower, bro? Like, because I'm not finna sit on the toilet and piss and dig in the shower and shower, like, that's just doing too much. But I could just get in the shower, piss, and wash my ass and get out. What you think? <laughs> like, I just feel like you could be in the shower. What's wrong with peeing in the shower? You rinsing off. You washing that off. So what's wrong with it? Like, what's that? But anywho, yes, I have peed in the shower. I still pee in the shower, and I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. <laughs> None of y'all, okay? Mmm. -hmm. Let's do one more. Then I'm done. Sorry I didn't eat much, but I had eight of like at eleven ish. So I wasn't very hungry. But I did eat most of my spaghetti. Okay. Um, let's see. Never have I ever been thrown out of a bar or a club. Yes, I have been thrown out of a bar in the club before. And it was not my fault. It was my motherfucking brother's fault. Cause he always wanna fight the motherfucker. Now I'm quit able to go back into the club you know what i mean like the next time i went i just wasn't able to go back that day so yeah <laughs> um if you guys enjoyed this mukbang video please make sure to thumbs up the video comment down below make sure y'all go check out asian randolph if y'all are here located in des moines and yeah make it do what it do baby i'm out this thing y'all do it's a cause, mama nah. called trying to hit my songs. Yeah. He's back in trouble, got me and all. My brother going through it.